from your weather authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Ah, uh, we've got ourselves a lot of heat and humidity, but you know, we started this week on a good note. Monday was nice from start to finish. Yesterday really started off cool. In fact, it was cooler yesterday morning than it was on Monday morning. And we topped out though a little bit warmer. We hit 88. We had 85 on Monday. Now we hit the 90s, and it looks like we're pretty much staying in the 90s for the rest of the week. Now, tomorrow though, we could see enough cloud cover to keep that temperature underneath that 90 degree mark, some locations anyway. But today looks like a pretty solid 90 for most of us, with the exception of southeast Illinois, where we could see a few locations topping out in the upper 80s with a lot of clouds starting to roll in. Hazy blue skies. We take a look outside from the backyard heads construction camera and looking out toward the strip. Downtown Evansville in view now from our Zemer funeral home camera on top of Fifth Third Bank. And looks like a pretty decent summer day right now, anyway. 86 degrees, dew points at 66. That's kind of nosing its way into the humid territory, but still not terribly humid. With the south southeast wind, now we're starting to see the wind pick up. It is from the south southeast. We can expect that throughout the rest of the day in that 5 to 15 mile per hour range. So we're going to have that for us. All right, temperature wise, how low can we go? 82 in French Lick. Well, we can't do 83. 84 in Jasper, 85 degrees in Fairfield, 86 in Henderson, 87 in Fordsville, 80. 8 degrees in Tell City, 89 in Madisonville. No 90s on the board yet, but really shouldn't have any trouble, especially in western Kentucky, where we're going to see a little more sunshine, a few more clouds to the north and especially to the northwest. So it's going to keep the temperatures down just a little bit, it looks like. Dew point wise, though, dew points are up, and we're starting to see some of these, you know, juicier dew point numbers move in from the west. So we're all going to be seeing low to mid 70s really beginning tomorrow and for the rest of the week. We're going to see them obviously at times today too. But for the most part, especially southwest Indiana, western Kentucky, looks like mid to upper 60s as far as dew points are concerned. All right, we're going to shout this out. We have seen some big tomatoes. Every day this week I've gotten a bigger tomato. I had one that was like one point, one pound, it was one pound, 2.5 or two ounces. Uh, that was on Monday. Then I had one yesterday, one pound, six ounces. Ounce, ounces. <laughs> now this one, even bigger. It is weighing in at two pounds, 1.3 ounces. Zane Durrell got that whopper tomato in his garden and he plucked it from Weir, Kentucky. So down in Muhlenberg County, good growing Zane. As we take a look at live first morning Doppler radar, nothing to show you here, but we are seeing more clouds moving in on our satellite and radar composite. The showers and thunderstorms are missing as well to the northwest, even missing St. Louis right now, but there is a severe threat for St. Louis this afternoon. You can see that area of low pressure very well defined, a counterclockwise spin as it makes its way into northern parts of Missouri, kind of spearheading the drive. We've got a boundary which is setting up. We're going to see some development along that boundary as it moves in uh, to the tri-state. It'll be later on this evening though, but not long after midnight, it looks, or should say not long after the sun goes down, and lasts till about midnight, it looks like right now, before it starts to diminish. So the severe weather threat will be, for the most part, in the dark. We see the clouds starting to stack up as we go through the afternoon, especially north of the Ohio. And as we roll into evening, here we are at 630. Now we're starting to see a little activity in southwestern Illinois on the other side of I-57, moving into our part of Illinois. It looks like a pretty good squall line. And this is where we have that severe weather threat. And it's a slight risk in our northwest corner. It includes Fairfield, Flora, and Olney. So that, those counties, uh, Wayne County, Clay, and Richland County, have that slight risk. And as we get closer to the Wabash, that risk is going to diminish a little bit, but still an isolated severe threat. Uh, we could see all three threats in play, uh, but mainly a damaging wind threat, kind of breaking apart a little bit according to our future tracker about 10 o'clock, still on the other side of the Wabash, and by the time it makes it along the Wabash, just before midnight, still have some cells along that line, even though it's breaking up, uh, that could fire up some damaging wind gusts, it looks like at that point, and then it falls apart as we go into the overnight hours. Now, tomorrow, maybe a few showers first thing in the morning. Future tracker, last couple of runs really not showing anything much setting up for the afternoon, but it looks like, from other guidance, we could be seeing a few showers and thunderstorms firing up in an isolated severe threat on Thursday. Here's what it looks like as far as my forecast for today. And it's going to be in the low 90s. Of course, no storms until after the sun goes down. But until the sun goes down, it's going to be hot and humid. High for most of us, low 90s, with the south-southeast wind picking up a little bit at 5 to 15. And then as we look down the line over the next seven days, pretty much low 90s is what we can expect until the weekend. And then we've got some sizzling temperatures, mid 90s, and tack on that very humid uh, conditions, those very humid conditions on Saturday and Sunday. And we're talking about heat index readings that will be 105 plus at times. So we're talking about sweating it out for sure uh, this Saturday and Sunday. Beautiful start to this day. Uh, this is in on the west side oh, of town, yeah. uh, right there along the river, and that's from Connie Howerton. Connie always gets some good stuff. She walks her dogs in the mornings and evenings, gets some great sunrises and sunsets. It's deceptively beautiful because it doesn't feel like that outside. Oh, but it felt pretty good this morning. It wasn't too bad, yeah. Not too bad. Thank you, Connie. Always great pictures. We'll be back with more local lifestyles right after this.